Say hey. <laughs> Hello, my little butterflies. And this video is going to be my April 3 and 1. So the 3 in 1 topic for this month is books with 500 pages or more. And the 3 in 1 tag was created by Sherry from Sherry Walker here on Booktube. And she also created the group known as Booktubers from around the world. And I will link the Goodreads link down below in the description bar. And also her channel link in the description bar below as well. Young and so tongue tied. Just trying to stay there for it. I, I'm looking at this. This is going to be a lot of editing because... My tongue is just twisted up today. Okay, so I I really had to like look for books like this because I don't really be paying attention to how many pages a book is that I read. So I already had to go look through and see how many pages were how many pages. And I have my three, but I also had like three honorable mentions too. Cause it's like, oh I really like those books too, but it's like I kind of wanna do these as the top three. Okay, so the first book that I'm going to be talking about, and it has a total of 552 pages, and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars when I read it, and that is The Book Thief by Marcus Zusak. And guys, I love this book so much. I read this last year. I think I read it in November. No, was it last year? It may have been the year before last, but I read it in like November or December, but I think it was the year before last. But guys, I love that book so freaking much, and I didn't think... Like, I was going to love it, like, as much as I did. I, first of all, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be about, first of all. Because when I hear the title of The Book Thief and everybody just kept saying it was so good, going into it, I thought it was going to be mainly about just, like, somebody just going around and stealing books or whatever, you know? But actually reading it, it was so freaking good, you know? Like, I love this book so much. I cried at the end, and I don't cry that often for books. Like, I literally have tears in my eyes after reading this even though i knew even though you know from the beginning it's going to end badly you still like you're not ready for it like you can't prepare yourself for it but it was really good i gave it a four out of five stars the second book i'm going to talk about is like i don't know i wouldn't technically say it was my first classic that i read but it was technically the first classic that i actually read on my own without it having to be like school required reading anything is something I actually decided to pick up on my own and I actually loved it so much. I listened to the audiobook for this one but I'm still going to count it anyway and it has a total of 507 pages and I also gave this a 4 out of 5 stars and it is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte and y'all I love this so much like this is like I said, this is the first class that I actually picked up on my own to read. Because, like, one of my goals is, and it's not like a yearly goal. It's just, like, in general, one of my reading goals is I want to read more classics. Like, I want to have more classics under my belt that I've read. Especially ones that I've picked out on my own. And, y'all, I love this so much. Listening to the audio book was great. Like, I always say, I don't know if I would think differently of it if I actually sat down and, like, read the text uh, format versus listening to the audio book. I'm not sure if I would have really been all that interested, like, actually reading the words versus hearing them but the person the narrator did a wonderful job i love the accents it actually sounded like you know different people it didn't all sound like the same person so she did really really well i enjoyed and i was all into this book like i would be walking around the house listening to this like washing dishes and stuff and cleaning up listening to this y'all it was so good but i do want to get the physical book because i want to read it like in the physical form to see if I feel differently about it with me actually reading the text versus me listening to it, but I love that so much. The third book that I am including in my 3-in-1, and I, I, I think I talk about this quite often when it comes to, you know, what's your, like, favorite books or whatever, and I read this a while ago, like, it, I don't even own it, it's something, like, when I used to go to the library, like, a lot, and, like, that's how I read I checked this book out and I didn't even know that it was part of a series because I ended up checking it up out of the library and at the time it's like oh this is like really good so but when it ended you can kind of tell that it's had more books coming after how it ended and I always say this is really good I love this book so freaking much y'all I read it like a long time ago and I really really loved it I probably read this when I was in like middle school it has a total of 543 pages I gave it a five out of five stars and it is Nevermore by Kelly Craig, I want to say is how you pronounce her name, or Craig. Y'all, this book was so freaking good. It's kind of like a mix in. It's not a retelling, but it has a lot of like Edgar Allan Poe mixed in. It's kind of like centered around Edgar Allan Poe's stories and poems. It's centered around all of that. And this was the first book 
And I think they have three more books after, I mean, no, two more books after this, but it's like three in total. I think it's a trilogy. I'm going to buy these books. Like, I'm going, I'm pretty sure the library still have them, but I want to buy them. I want to own them because the first book was so freaking good and amazing. I loved it so much. I, even though I did read it a while ago, so, you know, me being older, I don't know if it's going to change my perception of the book since I'm older now than what I was when I originally read it. But I don't want to just go get the second book and I want to refresh my mind on the first book, even though I'm pretty sure I remember everything that happens. Guys, this was so amazing. If y'all have read this book before, I really want to hear y'all opinions on it because I really enjoyed it when I read it the first time. I want to read it again. Like, I want to actually buy them one by one because I want to reread the first book again to see if it's something that I'm still interested in. But I do want to know, like, what the hell happened. Like, I want to continue and see, like, how the problem was solved. Because, y'all, it's amazing. And if you haven't read it, but you've, like, heard about it, I still want to know, like, if you think that that's something that you will be into. Like, I'm going to link the Goodread um, page for the book down below so you guys can see what it's about, like, all the way through. Because, like I said, I'm not really good at explaining things, like, on the dot. So I'm going to link that down below so y'all can read the synopsis and y'all can let me know if that sounds like something that y'all be into or not. Because I am going to buy it because I want to reread it and I, I hope I'm still interested in it because I, I know when I read it, it was really good and I was really into it and I loved it. So I hope I'm still into it. Okay, so now that I got my top three out of the way, I want to go on to my three honorable mentions that I have. And the first one of my honorable mentions that I have is a book that I recently just read. I finished it at the beginning of this month, and that is The New Jim Crow by Michelle Alexander. This had, I want to say it had 500 pages. It might not have. It may have only had 300 and something pages. I think it only had 300 and something pages, which is why it's part of my honorable mentions. But I really, 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 really loved this book. Like, it was freaking amazing. I'm going to link my review that I did for it on the eye, and I'm going to link it in the description box. Yo. This book was amazing. It's very informative. Like I said, I recommend it to everybody because everybody should read it. And I say I think this is a book that they should have, like, required reading in schools because it's, 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 it's really informative. It's, like, it's not it's not police bashing and everything. It's facts in it. It's, like, it's really facts. So it's not somebody just saying, oh, I hate the police and all of this stuff. It's not that. It's, like, literally facts from history back in, you know, Jim Crow days to, like, now. So it's... It's really good and it's really informative and I really want more people to read it and you don't hear about it a lot. So I really want people to um, actually like go back and like pick it up and see what it's about. Like if it's not, if you pick it up and like it's at your library, you can check it out. And if it's not something you into, then you know fine, you know don't, don't finish it or whatever. But give it a chance because it's really good. Second honorable mention that I have, which is more than one book, it's like a whole series. It's the entire freaking Twilight Saga by Stephanie Meyer. Okay, now look, don't bash me because I promise y'all, before I actually like started watching booktube, I had no idea that so many people hated the Twilight series. Like, I really didn't because everybody I knew fucking loved Twilight. So I had no idea that so many people hated Twilight until I started getting on booktube and I was like, what? What do you mean? getting the Twilight series and actually owning them because I have one of the books and it's like the mash of the anniversary version with um Life After Death but I want to get like the whole set I want the white hardback books though I love the white ones they're cute like I read them when I was in my library days I checked them all out and at the time I had no idea that Twilight was even a book but when I first heard about it um it was in like middle I think it was like eighth grade when I first heard about Twilight and it was because a substitute when I teach her she was pregnant so she went on maternity leave so we had a substitute for a few months and one day she bought Twilight for us to watch, like, in class. And I was like, I never even heard of this, but this movie is good. And then one of my friends told me, well, you know, it's, it's a book series, right? And I was like, no, I didn't know. I'm going to find this in the library. I'm going to read these books. 
I read every single freaking book. Now, I didn't go back and read the first Twilight book. I didn't since I had already watched the movie. I, but I watched, I read every book after that. I read New Moon, I read Eclipse, and I read Breaking Dawn. And I read them so fast. And everybody knows Twilight books are huge. I finished them so fast, like in no time. Like, I love, I love Twilight. I just, I do. I'm told a Twilight heart. Don't hate me for it. Don't bash me for it. I really don't care if you hate me for it because I'm a Twilight heart and I'm going to stand with my crew all the time. Hello. Now, I don't like Christian Stewart. Let me just throw it out there because, I mean, I'm sorry. She ruined Bella. Somebody better could have definitely acted on that role. I felt like just her acting skills were just not there. But whatever. It's done. Whatever's done, it's done. It's done. My last honorable mention that I have for my April 3 and 1 is Echo by Pam Minos Ryan. And I did a review for this book. I'm going to link it in the I and I'm going to link it in the description box below. So y'all go ahead and check it out if y'all want to. And I think this one was a little bit short. No, 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 no. It was over 500 pages. But it didn't beat the, my three that I did have. Because I did like this. And I think I ended up giving Echo like a a three out of five or maybe like a four out of five I can't remember but I did because it's middle grade and that's the only thing I said I didn't like about it was the fact that you know reading it you can you definitely feel the childish vibes while you're reading it and it's like I don't mind reading middle grade books but it's just you could really 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 feel the childishness while you was reading it and that's why I think I, I think I just gave it a four out of five stars I think but it was really good I did enjoy, it's like a bunch of different short stories, you know, put together. So I did kind of like, it was like a story in a story because it starts off with like a prophecy. And then when the actual short stories start, it's like every, all those stories are like leading up to actual, actually, you know, fulfilling the prophecy. So it's like a story in a story and the book was just beautiful. So I definitely say I love that part of the book, but I'm going to link my review in it everywhere so y'all can see it. Okay. Um, you guys, that's all for my April 3 and 1 that I have for you guys this month. I actually, it's got late in the month, but I wanted to hurry up and film it before the month was over. And I ended up saying, well, I'm not going to film it because I've only filmed one, but I've been doing it since. I think I've been doing the 3 and 1 since December. But I, I just started doing the videos in February. I was doing them on my blog, but I wanted to continue to do the videos. So thank y'all for hanging in there with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Two, one. We're going